Hey, welcome back to Walden's World. Things done got interesting. Uh, so I uh, found a job at a golf course and I am going to try to be a tractor mechanic now. Um, I told him I was mechanically inclined. Uh, uh, you know, I've worked on a couple of diesel motors, not very many in my life. Um, my first car was a diesel, 82 Volkswagen Rabbit. So uh, anyway, we're gonna see what we can do now. Um, these machines are 2004. We actually got two of them here and they have been neglected and disrespected. Um, the key switches no longer work. Uh, I don't know what else wrong with them, to be honest with you. And I accidentally turned that one on and uh, didn't realize the guy had part of the drive shaft unhooked so uh my u-joint under there flopped a couple of times and fell out and uh, part of it got jammed so that wasn't good um so we're gonna fix some stuff on these um i got my u-joint all fixed back up in there and uh we got to put the shaft in there and we're gonna see if we can get this one mounted up and running today now they did say it had a water leak on this one Oh, these are goofy. You gotta come down here, unlatch it there. So on this one here, um, it looks like it may be leaking out of the thermostat area. I tightened up the hose clamp, so um, once we get it ready, we'll see if it'll run. Let's see if it's not water. Yep, there's water in there. Hopefully antifreeze, because it's supposed to freeze tonight. Surely the last guy did that. I would hope so. Um, this thing don't shut off either. So, uh, should shut off by the key somehow with some kind of mechanism. He's got to come back here and uh, hit the butterfly to, to kill it. So we got to fix that too. Um, so we got two of those. Got a tractor there, sprayer, spreader. Um, I think these run and then he has a John Deere uh, 720 out there that he said the clutch just went out in so you can see over there on the other side we'll be doing that too um, I looked those up those don't look real real hard uh, but it did take three people so Stay tuned guys, let's get into this one right now. All right, so here's the pieces I was left. Uh, it looks to be like a, some type of spindle. Um, I did find one new bang for it. I have no seal. Uh, don't even know how it mounts up. This is going to hold the blade on. So, and then just, yeah, got all this stuff. Um, obviously I need these seals. Uh, not sure that's a dust cover to something these hold the blade on quite sure that's for the blade not sure what that is that may be a collar i don't know i gotta find a diagram and then we got some bolts we need to make all this stuff disappear i need this seal um all these bearings feel good in here so what we'll to fill it up with fluid and make sure it you know, holds. Man. That bearing don't look like it's leaking right now. So, if y'all know anything, here's the one bearing I took out. She was toast. And that's all I know. So I've got to find a website on this. This last guy left these. Um, which some of these we don't need. We got, I had that bearing there. And then, so he's got these boss blinds, two of those, which are actually these. Now, I don't know if they're supposed to be smooth or not, but I don't see these are, I mean, the teeth are good. So I don't know that these are actually bad, but we need these. Um, that holds on the blade, the mower blade. Um, so we'll find out. I don't, I don't know. And then looky here, somebody put a big old nick in it. Definitely wasn't me. I thought that was like a, maybe it is an oil passage. Is there a rope fitting on there? No. 
Well, there's the Zerk, so maybe it's a Zerk. That must be drilled to the Zerk. Okay. So at least it had some oil in it. All right. We're out of here. If y'all know anything about this ZD331, you know, leave a link in the comment. Uh, what I really need is a mower diagram, wiring diagram, and all that. Um, not t having too much good of luck on trying to find that stuff. So if y'all know where that's at, let me know. This ought to be interesting.